What's up everyone, this is the Great Heisman here, and I welcome you all back to another episode of Heisman Place Grand Theft Auto 5 playing as Michael. And now we're just heading to Lester's place to do the heist mission right now. So let's do this. Hey, how you doing? Ah, pretty good, under the circumstances. About to knock off a federal government building. Oh, meanwhile, my psychotic former BFF is trying to figure out a way to kill me. But hey, the meds are kicking in. So life's good. Well, exactly. Franklin got us what we need. Put those on. Then what? Then head in there and uh, rig up a slightly more sophisticated fire trap than we've got here. So... I'm guessing drapes and send a candle aren't gonna do the trick, huh? No, 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 no. We will have incendiaries and a remote device. Now, they need to be strategically placed so we can ensure that we still have access to the server and that the structure maintains its integrity. Now, once you get out, trigger the bombs, meet up with Franklin and the crew, and then we'll intercept the emergency call, and you all go in as firemen. Oh, got it? Yeah, I got it. Sounds a little idiotic. Well, under the circumstances, it was the best I could do. And if you remember, you were the one who chose to do it like this. Oh, come on. But, you know, Trevor has a point about you. You whine too much. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, don't even try it. Don't worry. You ready for me at the bureau? Yeah, it's almost that time, Frank. Link up with Moda and Welsh. Get the fire truck. Be ready to go as soon as I say so. Shit, we'll be good to go. Me and Gus will at least. You? I don't know, dog. Alright, there we go. So we're finally here. Now we're just going to enter the FIB building and go to the turnstile, or turnstill, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. You new? Just go through the turnstile. Yeah, they keep changing the contractors. Yeah, because guys like me keep losing their jobs and agreeing to do this for less. All right, head up. All right, so now we're just going to go to the elevator. Alright, so here we are now, we're just going to get the mop, and then mop the floor, I guess. Okay, so we got the mop, now I think we're just going to mop the floor, yup. Okay, so now we're just going to plant the bomb in, a, in the locker. There we go. There you go. <laughs> 
All right, so we're going to mop the floor again. Crap. Okay, there we go. So now we're going to plant the bomb in the restroom. Stay too late when the mopping dead show up. Oh. Okay, there we go. So now we just planted the bomb under the toilet, and now we just got to get out of here. Okay, so now we're just going to take the mop and bucket back to the closet. They don't work so hard. We're all leaving in a minute. Hey, charge is set. I'm out of the building. All right, sounds good, Franklin. Now we're just gonna pick up Michael. All right, get in, Michael. Let's do this. Detonate the incendiaries, Frank. I'll get this turnout gear on. Okay, so now we're just going to use the phone to detonate the C4. Alright, so let's get to the FIB building, and I guess now we're going to put out the fire. So, Lester hijacked the emergency signal, right? Yep. 
We'll be the only idiots running into that burning mess. So don't worry. Pull it up there by the curb. Alright, let's get in there. Alright, let's get to the FIB building and put out the fire. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Alright, let's get to the elevator. Alright, there we go. We're finally here. Alright, so let's get to containment drive. Yeah, the door's locked. Spit a bomb and blow it. Alright, so now we're gonna plan explosives on the door. It's hot, look out. Alright, let's blow up the door. Alright, so now we can get the containment drive. There we go, we got it. Alright, so now we're just gonna follow Michael and get out of the building. Looks like the building might collapse. Alright, let's just follow our crew. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Alright, alright. Break the door with the axe. Okay, let's help you Welsh up. Ah oh, shit, man, he's dead. We can't take a corpse through this inferno. We gotta leave him. We in trouble, dog! Hey, it's coming down! On me! On me! Agents coming our way. Alright, that's bad. Oh! 
Oh, dang it, there are more agents coming our way. All right, let's follow after Michael. All right, so we're going to have to go down the elevator shaft. Looks like we're going to rappel down the elevator shaft. Whoa, crap, that was close. Crap, things are just falling our way. Come on, come on. Hopefully that doesn't fall on us. Whew, we did it. Whew, we made it. We made it out of the building. Excellent. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's move out. Come on, come on. Get in, get in. Alright, so we're just going to go to the getaway car right now. Okay, I guess that's a good distance. Now we're just gonna destroy the fire truck. Let's just blow it up with the RPG. I feel a whole lot better. Take us to Lester's. All right, let's go to Lester's. Now that we're clear, I can probably tell you people. I didn't think we were gonna make it out of there. Uh, one of us didn't. We lost a dude, man. Oh yeah, shit. I don't like speaking ill of the departed, know what I'm saying? But that dude was in over his head. Yeah, he wasn't top draw, but I thought we could carry him through it. I guess I thought wrong. Well, anyway, we made it out, so we got that to be thankful for. Hughes people will get his paycheck and the standard expenses. 
Yeah, man, unfortunately, Hugh wasn't really cut out for this work, man. His mind was on other things. Why you say that? Man, he told me he was writing a screenplay. Did he give you a copy? I'd like to read it. Why? Well, you forget. I'm in the business. This guy gets killed in a raid on the Bureau, and we produce his picture? There's some free press. They call that, uh, pre-awareness. Yeah, all right, man. Sure. I very fine would. Hey, this Lester crib, ain't it? Keep your heads down, you hear? <laughs> well, what? I never thought I'd see you clowns again. We did it! <laughs> Fucking A Ray, we did it! Ow! How was it? For a suicidally dangerous mission impersonating emergency services while working a high security government facility, it was surprisingly uplifting. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, give me oh. some of that. Hey. Ow, ah. ow, ow, ow. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. You forgot <laughs> my very, very obvious illness? It happens. Uh, whatever. Hey, let's get drunk. Franklin, <clears throat> fill up the glasses. Got some real vintage moonshine, hillbilly type shit. We're gonna be seeing triple and committing incest in minutes. <laughs> just the shit to make a man forget his trouble. Oh, exactly. I am just gonna get drunk as a skunk, and then I'm gonna reverse engineer a webcam and spy on those sorority girls again. <laughs> I'm oh. ill, okay? Give me a break! Cheers! <laughs> <coughs> man, that's some foul ass shit! Oh. <laughs> All right, boys, I hate to break up the ritual, but I gotta go square things up with Davy and Dick uh, For serious? Hey, I just want them to know that now that we did this thing for them, and we have the evidence that we did this thing for them, that we can all go our own separate ways, you know? Well, fuck it. You want me to go with you, dog? No, stay. Have fun. I gotta do this alone. Right now. The sooner the better. It's one way to look at it, eh? Right. <laughs> Besides, I want to put this shit to bed. And then I can figure out Trevor, you know? Get my life back. Go back to being bored and miserable and loving every motherfucking minute of it. Here, enjoy the incest juice. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you boys sure know how to put the fun back in midlife crisis. 